Hello, my name is Niall Brophy from Perfect Image in Newcastle upon Tyne. This brief demonstration builds on a previous uh, demonstration also on, on this site for the ClickView product from ClickTech. ClickView is a, um, an in-memory business intelligence solution, um, markedly different to the more traditional OLAP business intelligence solutions that are also available. Now the previous video gave you um, a brief introduction to the product and an idea of how ClickView's associative technology uh, allows users to dynamically alter their queries uh, on the fly. In this uh, demonstration we'll use um, a slightly more realistic data set, a business data set. Um, the idea is this is a, a dashboard for um, a CFO, a chief financial officer. And it's showing headline data around financials, around um, the supply chain and stock control along with um, items such as uh, the age debt. So we have some headline values there um, using gauges in this case for revenue against budget, revenue against last year and margin against last year. And also an idea of a scorecard on, on the bottom right hand side and some, um, some, more, some, some gauges for um, accounts receivables, uh, the age debt, the margin percentage revenue and the expenses as a percentage of sales. So these are really headline values, and that's the idea. So if I make a selection here of um, Q3, quarter 3, we can see that um, that encompasses July, August and September, and we can see that our gauges have, have changed, basically. So our revenue against budget is somewhere in the middle there, uh, in, in the amber in terms of colour coding. Our revenue versus last year is looking particularly good, um, up to the max there, 150%. Uh, as is our margin against last year. We also get um, some idea of our uh, what's termed in this case a regional scorecard, our sales uh, by by territory. And um, as with a number of um, views within ClickView, we have a, a send to Excel option uh, if that's relevant. Now the way most uh, ClickView dashboards tend to be built is in a series of tabs, as you can see, a series of worksheets, uh, much like Excel, I guess. So if I change my, uh, my, my worksheet to a sales what if uh, worksheet, you'll begin to get the idea that um, click view data can be presented in numerous different ways. So before we start here, I will just um, normalize or zero my um, various gauges. So we've got volume, we've got price, and we've got cost. Okay, so using the idea of a what if scenario, if I say my costs are due to go up by 5%, we can see that our, our margin obviously changes uh, and in this case it goes negative. So naturally I may want to look at what I can do to resolve that. So if I look at my price um, gauge here and say okay well let's see if we could increase our prices by 5%. Well in this case in terms of the data we're back into profit. But let's kind of drag it back a little bit. 4%, uh, slightly less in profit, 3%, and 2% is the tipping point in this case. We, we start to start to lose, lose margin or go negative. So I guess we're saying that 3% would still keep us in, in profit with a cost increase of 5%. Okay, um, perhaps I can't increase my prices by 2%, perhaps I can, can only increase them by Sorry, perhaps I can't increase them by three, perhaps I can only increase them by two. So if I move that back to two, then I guess I need to look at volume to see uh, whether increases in volume can get me back into profit. So if I move that gauge along, 1% increase in volume, 2% increase in volume, 3% increase in volume, and we seem to be getting back into, into, into positive territory. So clearly a very useful tool. Um, in this case, of course, um, looking at data from a stock control uh, supply chain system. Okay, let's clear that selection and let's show you some of the, um, the other ways data can be presented uh, in ClickView. So if I select my trending worksheet, uh, totally different chart styles presented here. So what we have here is um, revenue versus last year across the different um, types of uh, department in this case. Um, the same again here, except by individual product. Uh, same again, but by individual sales uh, person. And same again, but by country. So if I decide I want to look at 
uh, wholesale grocery. If I drill in on, on the um, blue block for wholesale grocery, I can see that uh, Lucy Douglas uh, has performed particularly well in that area. Uh, also that's mainly been in the supermarkets segment and it looks as though it's particularly um, been successful in bake or sorry baking good. So back on the idea of uh, the dashboards being dynamic, I've realized it seems that uh, baking goods are doing particularly well, so I might want to make a further inquiry there. So if I drill in on baking goods, I can clearly see that um, in terms of my uh, countries, Australia uh, has absolutely outperformed New Zealand in this scenario. And also that uh, Lucy Douglas has also been assisted to some extent by Chris Parkin, uh, but my other two salespeople have... Um, for whatever reason struggled in that area. Of course the beauty of this kind of inquiry is whatever um, results are returned to me if they throw up another query I've got the ability to drill down in that that new uh, direction. In terms of um, usability of the system I've also got some uh, some other useful tools. I've got the um, uh, web style back and forward options so in this scenario I, th I think I've drilled through three or four levels here so I might want to click the forward button and that steps me back up to where I was before, which uh, was my Australia selection. Uh, I can go back up again, back down to my um, to my previous selection. What I can also do, if I've discovered something uh, particularly of interest, is go into my bookmark section and add a bookmark. The idea behind that is um, my kind of uh, discovery of data may have been four or five mouse clicks deep, so I tag that as a bookmark, and then I can send that on to. Uh, somebody uh, who would be particularly interested in that particular data so it saves them having to drill through the same um, same mouse clicks. Okay so let's um, clear those selections. Now up to now we've been looking at um, I guess headline data uh, the idea being it's been uh, perhaps a chief financial officer that's been uh, uh, the particular user in this case but we equally have the scenario where we may want to look at uh, transaction level data so if I go into my order details um, worksheet, you can see that the, the data is presented to me in, um, I guess, an ERP style grid format. And this, uh, in this particular case, is uh, a list of, um, of order details and the invoices associated with them. Okay, um, to show you another um, function within ClickView, we have a search pane on the, the left-hand side in this case. If I want to search for a, a particular invoice number, in this scenario, I begin to type, uh, so 116, and as you can see, as I type, the selections that are potentially available to me come through. So in this case, I want 116014. And at that point, my selections are narrowed down to an invoice number for that selection and also an order number. So if I drill in on the order number, we can see that we have a particular order number, 116014 and uh, referring back to some of our earlier inquiries we can see that it's in the segment supermarkets, wholesale grocery, uh, individual segment group, Australia and Lucy Douglas was the sales manager responsible for this particular sale. So I'm looking at transactional level data here as opposed to uh, headline values but I still have the ability to, to go uh, in any, any different direction. So I may decide that I want to make a further selection here and go with Chris Parkin as my uh, sales manager. So if I do that, it starts to return me the data for Chris Parkin. So hopefully you're getting the idea here that data can be presented in numerous different ways for numerous different audiences. And of course they don't always have to be presented uh, on a single um, uh, workbook like uh, we have in this case. Okay, lots of different ways to present your data. Finally, if I go to my map worksheet, you'll see it still retained my uh, Chris Parkin selection from the previous um, tab. So we can see that the territory that Chris works in. But of course, I can change or clear that. And again, perhaps use the search. So if I type in uh, WA in this scenario, again, you start to see the potential um, selections coming through. And if it's the city of Wayne that I'm interested in, I select Wayne. And in this case, it returns the customers that are within the city of Wayne. And as we can see, my um, single customer there is PacificServe. 
and of course it therefore presents a map of the location of that particular customer. Okay, so to conclude, lots of different uh, ways of presenting your data with lots of different audiences in mind. Dynamic uh, representation of data at all times, not restricted to um, your initial query. Uh, ClickView is particularly designed for the idea that you'll start off with a certain query and change your mind based on the data that's presented to you. And of course it may well be the unrelated data that's key uh, in, that, in that thought process. So hopefully the last few minutes has given you um, a good idea of the, uh, the power of ClickView but also how easy it is to use. And if you require any further information don't hesitate to contact us here at Perfect Image. Thank you for your time.